Hi, this is Bob from Hobby Concepts, and today I'm going to start doing some videos on the uh, PL18 EV radio. And this first one is going to be how to set up and use this radio with the Tamiya MFC unit. Uh, it's, it's a little more complicated than some radios, but a lot more capabilities. I'm even going to show you how to put the horn on a switch, which is really nice. So uh, it works great with this radio. It's, it's a fantastic unit. It's just going to keep getting better as we go on. So we'll get, up, get to work on this MFC. Let's get started. So today as I, uh, I get started with this uh, PL18EV, setting it up for a Tamiya MFC, um, a couple of little detail items. First off, since I, I initially reviewed it, they now have a full English language manual on their website that you can download. So I've got that here on my iPad. I've got my radio. I've got a uh, FlySky receiver. This is an 8-channel. I've got a battery pack to power the receiver and a servo so I can kind of use it for testing. I also have a notepad because I like to make notes about what stick is going to go where so I can remember um, how to set everything up. So to get started I'll turn the radio on and I'm going to switch to a different model. Now to do that I just push the model picture here, switch model and I'm going to go to number four because I haven't used it before and click yes. So now I have a fresh new model in there to get started with. I'm now going to zoom in on this screen and kind of show you how I go through the programming. This radio is, is um, it's pretty easy to program but you have to program everything and and so you have this tremendous power and flexibility to use it however you want but it does take a little more programming than a standard radio. So we'll go through this step by step, and by the time I'm done, I'll use it to control it to me, MFC. I've got a, a truck here that's all built and ready to go, so we'll just install it in there and go through each operation. So let me zoom in. Okay, so here we are, uh, zoomed in a little bit. Now, first thing I have to do is bind this receiver, so I'm going to turn the transmitter to uh, receiver setup, and I'm going to go Daddy. bind with the receiver. Now... In order to bind, I have to press the bind button on this receiver and plug power in while I'm holding down the bind button. Let that it go. And now it bound. So now I have this receiver bound to the transmitter and we'll test it. So we'll actually go to display. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Channel 5. So we should be able to plug this into channel 5 and have it work. And yes, it works. Okay, so we know that we bound it properly and it's working a servo, so that part is good. I'm going to come back and we're going to go through the programming. The first thing that we want to do is assign these sticks to a channel. Now, the way I do this is I touch on the model, go to the model structure, and you'll see that we have left track and right track set up. Well, that's just not appropriate for our semi-truck. Uh, so in the model structure, we're going to click throttle, steering. We're going to unclick left and right track. We're going to scroll along here. Gearbox, we're going to click. Platform turn, hydraulics, big arm, we're going to turn those off. And that's pretty much everything. We're going to hit the back arrow and we're going to say yes and go back. So now what we've done is we've got a throttle and steering set up channel 1, 2, and 3 are throttle, steering, and gearbox. So now I'm going to go to function assign. Now here you've got the function you want, the control you want, and which trim button you want to work it. So number 1 is throttle and number 2 is steering and number 3 is gearbox. Well I don't, I, I mean, you can do it that way, but I, what I'm going to do is set up the radio so it's the same as all the other radios I use, which means the steering is on channel 1. So we're going to go 1, and we're going to press steering, and then go back. So now steering is on channel 1. We're going to see which control we want to work the steering. Now that's this control right here. Well, I guess unless you want that to work the steering, but we're, we're going to 
set it up like this. So J1, okay. So back, so now J1 is gonna work the steering. We can go to display servos, and there we go, works the steering. Now you can see it's working both channel one and channel two. We'll go back here to function assign. That's because we've got steering in both places. So now channel two, that's this up and down one, is going to be our lights and horn. So we're going to do that and we're going to call that custom. Use the back arrow. And we're going to call it lights. L I G H T S. Okay, enter. All right, so now lights are there, and we're going to assign that to the up and down, which is J2. Okay, we'll go back to the display. So now lights are on that one, steering's on that one. Okay, now we want to have our throttle on this one. So we'll go back here to the menu, function assign, and the throttle is normally on channel three. We'll click throttle. Okay, and then we're gonna click the control we want, and that's gonna be J3. We'll go back and check it. Throttle's on J3, we'll go back to display. And there's our throttle. Okay. The last one is channel four. Function assign. And we're going to call that uh, aux four. But we need to name it. So we're going to go custom. And we're going to call it um, special. Because on a MFC, come on. It's the special functions. Okay, enter. So now it says special functions. We're going to click what we want. It's going to be on J4. Okay, we'll go back to our display. So now there's our lights, our steering, our throttle, and our special functions. Now I'm going to put the shifting We'll put it on this switch right here. We've got a three position switch. This is SWE. So we'll go to function assign. We're going to call that channel five, aux five. We're going to call that gearbox. Okay, so there's gearbox. And we're going to assign it to SWE. Okay, and we'll go check that on our display again. And there's our gearbox. Okay, so we've got all those functions assigned. So now, basically, all that did was set up the radio the same as every other radio we've ever used, and, which is important for programming the MFC. So next, we have to program a dual rate switch. So it's time to set up the dual rates. I'm going to use this switch right here, and it's actually labeled SWF. And what I want is I want 75% rate when it's that way and 100% rate when it's that way. So to do that, we go to the rate and expo uh, menu. It's on page two. And we want to set it up for the lights and for the special functions. So we touch the lights. We want it 100% when it's that way, which it is. So we want to change that one to 
Okay, so it's 100% this way, 75% that way. We push the switch. SWF is the switch we want, so that's good. Oh. Click it. Okay, and then we want to turn it on. You can see this red thing with the line through it, so now it's on. So we should be able to go back to our display and yeah, now see it's 75% and then 100% when I flip the switch. That's exactly what I want. Perfect. So now I have to do it for this channel, which is our special function. So I click that. Again, we want to assign switch F. Okay, so it's 100% this way. When it's back, we want 75%. Turn it on. Go back, go back, go back to our display. So again, this one, perfect, and this one, perfect. Okay, so that sets up our dual rates the way we want. Now it's time to go ahead and plug this into our MFC. Now I mentioned earlier I kept a piece of paper, <laughs> keep notes. So channel one is steering. Channel 2 is lights, channel 3 is throttle, channel 4 is our special functions, and channel 5 is the gearbox. So on the MFC, J4 is the steering, so that plugs into channel 1. J6 is the lights, plugs into channel 2. J5 is the throttle, plugs into channel 3. And J7 is the special functions, plugs into channel 4. The gearbox will plug directly into channel 5. So now I'm going to take my receiver and take my truck and I'm going to go ahead and plug those in the appropriate channels and then we'll come back. So I've got a grand hauler here. It's got an MFC in it. I uh, plugged in the receiver uh, the same way I mentioned before and I've unplugged the vibration motor and blocked this truck up so it can't go anywhere. So we'll turn it on. And I'll, I'll verify my steering. I always like to check with that. Okay, so the first thing I have to do is map the radio to the MFC. And it's the same as every other radio I've ever mapped. We'll push the button. We'll take the left stick from top to bottom, from right to left, top to bottom, from right to left. And then push the button again. Okay, so with my dual rate switch back, got the horn. Perfect. Steering and turn signals. Uh, should have my throttle. Yep. back beeper and my special functions which I'm not really going to use. Now if I flip my dual rate switch I should be able to go through yep hazard lights they're on and off Put the body over here and then four levels of lighting let me turn the truck a little bit here should be able to get, yep, my cab lights, headlights, and back off again. Flip that back. Horn. So uh, that worked great. Everything works just like it's supposed to and pretty much the same as every other radio I've ever used. Uh, let's try some special things. So far what I've shown on this radio is what every other radio can do. Uh, the FSI6 um, that I normally set up with these trucks does everything I just set up here. So why buy this fancy complicated radio? Well I'm going to show you why. So here's a cool thing. Um, normally that's our horn. Then we have to flip this switch and then it's our, our light controller. But what if you didn't have to 
flip a switch? What if you wanted something to work the lights all the time and something to work the horn all the time? Like, let's say we wanted to put the horn here and leave the lights here so we didn't have to flip a switch back and forth. Well, with this radio, you can do that. Let me show you how. So the first thing you have to do is we'll go to uh, function assign and we have to assign a switch to an extra channel. So we've got aux 6 open and we're going to assign a switch to it and we're going to assign this switch which is switch D. Okay, You can either push the button and figure out where it's pointing or just flip the switch and it automatically assigns it. Okay, so we've got aux 6 subscribed to switch D. We'll go back to uh, the menu and we're going to go to mixes. Now here you can mix, there's 20 mixes, you can mix any channel to any other channel and you can make it do anything you want. Now remember when this is back this is 75 percent travel. So what we want to do is we want to make this pretend it's moving that 75 percent. So we'll go to the mix our master is aux 6, which is now this switch. And I could relabel it horn, which I probably will later. But what we want it to do is move this stick, which is the light stick. Now we don't want it to move 100%, we want it to move 75%. So we're going to go here and we're going to lower it to, there's an upside and a downside, but we're going to lower it to 75%. Okay, and then we're going to go back, we're going to move the upside and we're going to move it down to 75%. Sorry for my fat fingers here guys. And then back. Okay, so now aux 6 should move this stick 75%. We're going to turn it on so we'll get rid of the little box. We're going to turn the truck on. We'll turn the volume up a little. And there's our horn and our short horn. Now I didn't have to move the stick, so now I can just leave that switch and this will always work the lights or the turn signals. Now. I can put the lights or the turn signals on another stick. Turn this back off. So now this is now my horn. So let's say I want maybe this one to be my lights. Okay, that's... Signal lost. Yeah, I know the signal's lost. Let's turn this off and turn it back on again. Um, let's say I want this one to be my lights or this one to be my lights. Well, I can assign any switch to that, but let's, let's do this one just for the fun of it. and We'll go through the whole thing. So this is um, VRE, so we're going to go to Function Assign, we're going to the first empty space which is AUX7, and we're going to pick VR, let's see, VRE, right there, okay, and let's just go to the display just to check that we did it. Yes, aux 6 is now VRE. And you can see that it moves 100%. Okay, so we'll go back to the mixes. And we're going to set up mix 2. Now mix 2 is going to be VRE. So go sticker knob. VRE. Actually, we'll go basic function. Uh, no, we'll go output channel. Channel 7. Do it that way. Because um, that's that's what we set this to, uh, Channel 7. And then we want it to move the lights. We want it to move the lights 100%. It's already there. We'll turn it on. So now we can turn the truck on again. Okay. Still have our horn here. Now we have our emergency flashers there and we can flip through the lights there. So now we don't have to use this stick at all. And that is so cool because you can assign any function to any stick. So instead of having to remember, oh, I flip the switch and do this and do that, 
you can just uh, assign a switch to it, do a mix, there's 20 of them. So now, on my truck, this is the horn, this is the lights, this is the steering, this is the throttle. I can mix the special functions just the same, so if I have a, a uh, like a remote um, servo for the coupler release, I can do that. Or, this radio has enough channels that I would just take the coupler servo and just plug it directly into a receiver and probably bypass the MFC completely. And, uh, and that is really neat to be able to do those mixes. They're easy to do and, uh, and you can set up any function on any switch. So uh, there's, there's a pretty cool setup. I'm going to button this truck up and I'll just kind of show you now all the functions. So here's my truck all set up with my, uh, my PL18 EV radio. And uh, we'll just go through some of the functions. So I actually turned it on and shut the engine off with the radio so we can fire it up. Same stick movements as a normal radio. Got my horn. I'll switch here. Got my emergency flashers on this switch. I could easily move it to this switch if I wanted. I've got my lights, level one, level two, level three, and back off again. Of course, I have my steering and my turn signals, my throttle. I think this truck has like a 55 turn motor in it, so it runs pretty smoothly. And then, of course, uh, engine shut down. So, this radio operates the MFC just fantastically well, and with all these mixes, uh, I can continue to. to change switches, add switches for other functions. You know, if I have things like a coupler release or additional um, LEDs and use electronic switches, so much capability here, I can just do anything. And uh, later I'll have some additional videos on using this with the uh, Beer um, SFR1 system, which would give it even way more capability. So watch for that. I'm also gonna do some videos strictly on the radio. Uh, one of them I've had a lot of requests for is how to hook uh, receivers together so you can have 18 channels because the biggest receiver they make I think is 12 and the radio is 18 so I know how to do that I'll have that pretty soon I'm gonna have how to update the radio and a few other things so keep an eye on the channel there will be short videos I know they aren't gonna have just a ton of ton of viewers because they're specific to this radio but if you've got this radio you want to learn to take advantage of the features so there you go Use it with a Tamiya MFC. It is fantastic. Uh, please hit the like. I appreciate those. Please subscribe. And uh, hey, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.